Gay Crawford's breast cancer diagnosis in 1974 as a 30-year-old mom of a two-year-old and a baby would inspire her life's passion of advocating on behalf of others with cancer. Whether it is reaching out one-on-one -on -one to a newly diagnosed survivor, volunteering for cancer organizations, or founding organizations herself, more than 40 years later, Gay Crawford is still enriching the lives of cancer survivors and their families every single day. Her second cancer diagnosis of lymphoma in 2004 didn't slow down her advocacy work. It simply pushed her to work even harder on behalf of people with cancer. Well, Gay is sort of the ultimate advocate for cancer and, and not only at a professional level, uh, societal level, really with a personal touch. Uh, she's one person who is always there for an individual who's afflicted with cancer. I know from emails that get copied on that anyone who uh, is within her sphere of influence, and Gay has a very large sphere of influence, uh, when they touch Gay by email or by phone or uh, as a personal contact, she's there for them. Well, I think, <laughs> I think Gay is a force of nature, really. I mean, I think she has, uh, when she puts her mind to something, uh, things get done. Her advocacy work is focused on the diverse needs of survivors and their families of the Silicon Valley. She's been a tireless volunteer with many organizations. She led legislative efforts for insurance coverage of mammography and reconstruction, and for the creation of the California Cancer Registry. She founded numerous organizations, including Hospice of the Valley and Courageous Kids, a program that gives children with cancer a dream outing to an amusement park. To meet the critical non-medical needs of cancer survivors in Silicon Valley, she co-founded Cancer Care Point. Cancer Care Point offers an incredible range of comprehensive services, things like support groups and counseling, exercise, nutrition classes, meditation, even therapeutic massage all free and we offer it to people right after they're diagnosed, through their treatment and after they finish their treatment because Gay knew and we know that cancer patients need those type, that type of support. Julie Wise, who recently lost her husband to prostate cancer, is just one of many Gay has quietly helped behind the scenes over the past four decades. She knows how to listen. Um, she knows um, how to, how to give comfort. She knows how to educate and console and, um, and basically just help you through a very difficult crisis. Um, nobody is at their best in crises, but I think it, when you are under stress and in a crisis situation, someone like Gay comes along and you realize that there are really wonderful people in the world. She's a dynamo. When she says she'll get something done, she gets it done. She sees the big picture. She makes things happen. She's a person on a mission. She's a person who took her experience of having cancer and said, I don't want anyone else to go through this like I did. And when you meet Gay, you see her drive, her dedication, her passion. She's 24-7. She is working on making life better for cancer patients and their families.